Hey guys, welcome back to the workshop. As you know, I'm all about solving practical problems. The last thing you could do is call me over the top or impractical. Seriously though, I have something pretty cool for you today. Now, I don't know about you, but I really hate having a bunch of cables and power supplies and batteries all over the house. Most of the electronics that I use in my daily life are actually USB-C powered. So when possible, I prefer using USB-C because I can just reuse the power supplies and the cables and reduce clutter that way. But it's not all the devices that are USB-C. You can get adapters like micro USB to USB-C to add support on older devices, but Let's say you have a 12 volt device, you will not make it work with your 5 volt standard USB because that's just too little. And as someone who loves to build things, I'm really tired of using these temperamental LiPo packs for my higher voltage projects out of necessity. If possible, I would much rather use a USB-C power bank instead. But what if I told you it is possible to basically make anything USB-C powered with just a few minutes of work? And here's an actual real example. <laughs> Recently, I bought this motorized Edelkron camera slider and it is powered by connecting a couple of Canon batteries to this plate, which then plugs into the motor unit here. Sadly, I don't have any Canon batteries. If this was just a simple 5 volt output, I would have just snipped the cable and soldered on a USB plug and just used a regular power bank, but that's not the case here. I was about to pay a lot of money for a lot of batteries, but before I did, I stumbled upon something called USB-C PD or power delivery. It's kind of related to quick charging, if you've heard that term before. When you plug in a regular device to charge, it's getting 5 volts because that's all it needs and that's the standard. But if you were to plug in a PD capable device, which is usually a laptop or a tablet or something a bit bigger that needs the fast charging ability, to a PD capable power supply, then it can boost up to 9, 12, 15 or even 20 volts. And this applies to PD capable power banks as well, not only chargers. This active negotiation between devices is what makes your laptop charger charge your laptop really fast, but also work for your headphones too. Unlike a regular charger, this communication is digital. So until now, homemade adapters were not really feasible, but that's where this comes into play. This is a PD trigger board. And what it does is it triggers a particular power state in your charger based on the preset voltage it's set to. This one is preset to 9 volts, so that means that whenever I plug in a compatible adapter, it will negotiate a 9 volt link. And now I can connect a 9 volt device. I got the 9 volt ones just because that's what the slider needs, but there's also 12 volt, 15 volt, and 20 volt ones to match the rest of the PD spec. So basically, all it takes is to solder on a couple of wires and we make a PD capable adapter. In this case, from a regular barrel plug to a USB C port, but uh, you can adapt anything really. Now I can use it both with a USB-C power adapter, but also with a USB-C PD power bank. I modeled and 3D printed a holder for it too, just for some extra style points. <laughs> this one was much cheaper than a bunch of Canon batteries, and it also has three ports. That means I can use the slider, the target module, and charge my camera at the same time. And the best part is, I can reuse this power bank in many other projects too. So that's how you convert basically anything to USB-C. Um, hope you learned something today. Uh, please subscribe to this YouTube channel for more good stuff coming your way and to show your support for me. And that being said, thank you for watching. See you next time. Mm. <laughs> wow, what a great video, I agree. If you would like to see more of my stuff, I made a lot of videos over the years. So here's a few links for you to click on. Ooh, editing, editing, editing. Mm-hmm. <laughs>